Well, let's take a look at the orchard. I just, um, a day or so ago, I just did my summer pruning. I pruned off all the suckers along the bottom and then I did a little bit of thinning uh, in the middle of the trees. So, and then I was out here mowing, of course, a day or two um, last weekend and the, the mower broke the belt. So, um, there's still a little bit of grass out here that needs to be mowed, but uh, still waiting on a mower belt. But this peach tree here is loaded with peaches, especially for its size. But we just got a lot of peaches. These are white peaches. I think this is a Bella Georgia white peach. We have two of these trees, and this one's got all the fruit on it. The other one the fruit fell off of. Um, and the other one was the one that had the worst amount of sucker suckers growing out of the ground but uh, we do have some white peaches that we'll get from this tree i think we got a two or three last year looks like we'll get a lot more this year um the apple trees haven't been as bad this year um i do have like this is probably my worst tree right here this is a red rome and you can see some of the browning of the leaves and the curling of the leaves and the wilding of the leaves i've only sprayed these once i've been so busy i've, I've only sprayed them once um, I need to get them sprayed again. You can see that like right there we've got something going on whether that's a some type of a blight or something I need to to get these trees sprayed. Now our cherry trees there's been have been the worst one the cherries and the plums are the worst ones for bugs to like eat the leaves and if you can see I don't know if you can see these leaves but like these are almost like completely gone. I mean they just I, and they were June, I know for sure on these, it would look like the, the June beetles, like the little beetles were on, green beetles were on there eating all the leaves. So that is a cherry tree. That's the one I just planted this year. Uh, uh, overall, I mean, I've only had the orchard for, that I've been growing for almost, what, a year or two now, since, well, uh, sp was it spring of last year? So a little over a year. Um, I will have to say the peaches, and the pears are the trees that seem to be the healthiest, seem to do the best. And the, um, the nectarine tree, um, really similar to a peach tree, it, it, does, it seems to do really well. So this is my, one of my plums, and it is just ate up bad too by bugs. So I definitely need to do better about spraying um, the plum trees and the peak and the uh, cherry trees was something to keep the bugs off So like I said, I've only sprayed once this year, so I'm gonna have to do better I have to spray again here soon This is my ever bearing strawberry ba um, box and this was my June bearing strawberry box and man, I'll tell you for About a week's time man, the weeds really came through it because this did not look we kind of weeded this not that long ago but anyway if we look in here you're gonna see all you can see all these blooms I planted two varieties of what were supposed to be ever bearing and this this left side here has had blooms all year and strawberries all year and I mean you can see that we've got strawberries in here and we just come out here and pick them and eat them but um, this other side it just had a few in June and that was it. So I think I got I think I got a bad batch. I mean I think they gave me the wrong strawberries or something because these do not seem to be ever bearing. And it and it worries me a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but those strawberries are way healthier looking. And I'm afraid they're gonna take over the whole box and smother out these other ones. And I think they've already kind of pushed that way because I should have blooms up to about here and now it looks like my blooms are starting back here so not real not real happy about that i think i i think they gave me the wrong strawberry or or something so uh next year i may end up pulling all of this side out and replanting it with the same variety that's over here so this here is a fuji apple and i've got about four fuji apples on it over there, this is a golden delicious apple. It is one of our self-pollinators. We've got uh, about six or seven apples on this tree. Over there is a gala. We've got a couple on that one, and we've got a gala down there that we've 
we've got a couple on that one as well so we're going to get our first apples this year out of our orchard so we're really happy about that last year we just we pretty much just got peaches um but uh, this year we're actually going to get some apples that we should be eating so we're we're happy about that now one thing is we've never got uh, any cherries we've never got any plums we've never got any orange or red peaches yet we've never got any nectarines so we've still got some uh, some ways to go maybe take a few more years before all these tr trees are producing uh, no pears either so we're real uh, we still got a long way to go